Do you have advice for young people who live around here now? What advice, what advice did you give your daughters? Uh, well, did you give them any advice? <laughs> really, or did they pay any attention it, to it? it? <laughs> you know, I really didn't, uh, as far as the girls were concerned. I, I just, I didn't really anticipate that either one of them would be interested in living here. One of them was, and one of them, want, and the minute she got out of college, she wanted to go to New York, you know, she wanted mm -hmm. to be in the ballet or whatever. So one of, I knew one of them was not going to stay here. The other one I kept thinking, you know, if I could get her into some kind of retail, that, I mean, that, that's what, you know, she got into retail and, and then she stayed mm -hmm. around here and eventually got working for the Cherokees and that was a good thing. Uh, great job for her. But, but to me, if, you know, if, if you have a, I mean, it's, it's such a wonderful opportunity for people who live here to work in Tulsa or, or to, you know, run, run a business, you know, here in Claremore. I mean, there's lots of opportunities for business, lots of opportunities for, you know, manufacturing. You know, it depends on your skill level and what you're interested in doing. But there's a lot of things to do in Claremore. I think it brings a whole lot to the table for people, young people, to, to stay. And it'd be nice if they did stay. That's the good, you know, that's what keeps your community alive is young people.